<coughs> hey guys, I want to show you how to level the playing volume of all of your music files. Uh, be it CLAC, MP3, WMA, pretty much any music file that you have. I have many flags uh, that uh, are from several time periods and many are from the 80s and prior to that and they are recorded in a very low volume uh, compared to modern music. So it's really annoying to be changing the volume up and down after every song. So this method is going to help your music player determine what is the appropriate level for every song automatically so that they all sound even. <coughs> uh, you will first have to download a program called Hubar 2000. Uh, spelled like this. Just uh, do a search. Uh, just download the uh, latest version. The version I'm going to download, download is this one, 1.5.1. 1 um, once you have it downloaded, uh, install it. Just a standard installation. And just leave this as it is, don't change anything. Okay, and run it. You don't need to change any of the uh, settings. Just open your uh, music folder. And uh, just, I recommend you uh, do it, do this to all, of, all your music. Uh, the reason is that uh, uh, you don't know you're, you're not going to know at first sight which songs are leveled by uh, this method so if you play them uh, some are going to sound loud some are going to some are, are going to sound low so what's the point of doing this if you're not going to do this to every to all of your music so i recommend you do this to all the music that you plan to uh, that you play regularly so just select and drag drag them on the program and on your mouse right click and go down to replay game and choose scan per file track game don't choose as a single album uh, so if you have a lot of files it's going to take a lot longer and once it's done, it's going, this box is going to come up. I'm going to let you know it's uh, it was successful. Uh, so just click Update File Tags. And by the way, uh, this method does not alter the music, the sound quality of your file. It doesn't change anything at all. It just stores the data for music leveling in the metadata of the file. So the program that you're going to use uh, just knows what volume level is, is going to use. If it's going to up the volume or it's going to lower the volume, depending on, you know, on the song. So once, once you have done this, uh, 
you're gonna transfer if you're gonna play on your phone just transfer just transfer all of your music to your phone via USB cable and uh, if uh, once you have done that uh, just go to your phone and we're going to download a second app from here just go to the App Store and just type Vanilla Music. Um, and in case there is uh, other apps called Vanilla Music because you know they all copy their names, uh, just choose the one by this guy, uh, Adrian Ulrich. This app is open source, by the way. Um, it is uh, free also, and it's uh, pretty good for what we're going to do it handles uh, playlists very well and uh, it's a great music player so once you uh, have downloaded uh, open it just click OK on this box and it's going to scan your phone for all of the music you have click allow So it's going to find everything, every sound file that you have, it's going to add it. If you don't wanna, if on my phone I have a lot of podcasts, podcasts. So if it finds your, you know, if you if it finds files that you don't want to play together with your music, you select it and delete it, and it's just going to delete it from the app right here. And uh, okay, once that. It has found all of your music. Just go to this menu right here on the corner and select settings. And then go to audio. And uh, select replay gain. Uh, on this setting, just choose enable per track replay, replay gain. So, as I said before, don't choose. Uh, or maybe I didn't mention it, but I should mention don't choose enable album replay gain. Uh, the reason is because on the FUBAR 2000 we selected per track, so all of your tracks are uh, evaluated individually and given uh, a value related to your whole music collection. So that's what we want. We want all, all of your music uh, processed individually. So choose this and just go back and that's it uh, just uh, play your music or you know however, however you want to play it and uh, this um, if you have uh, any music that is not uh, processed by replay gain it's, it's going to sound bad so it's either going to sound really loud or really low compared to the music that you that you process so I recommend you do it to all of your music Okay, so that's the way you play uh, music uh, with replay gain on your phone, on your Android. Uh, if you want to play on your PC, uh, you can use VLC. I'm going to show you how to set the, how to uh, fiddle with the settings to play with replay gain. Uh, this, uh, if you don't have it, download it. It's VLC, media player. Uh, and then, you go to tools, preferences, and then audio, and then go down to replay gain and select track, track. Uh, then click save, and that's it. Uh, there's other programs that on the PC is easier to normalize uh, music. Uh, there is more programs where you don't even need to do replay gain but uh it's good to have it if you're going to play that music on your phone also because on on the phone it's more difficult to find uh apps that have normalization uh on the fly normalization uh, there used to be uh, an app by sony but they they don't allow it to uh, run on phones that are not sony so uh, this is the best way to do it on the on the on Android phones, uh, if you want to play your music there, so so hopefully uh, this uh, is helpful, and uh, I'll see you guys later.